I've seen a part of Steven that I didn't know existed. It's ugly. He is not my boyfriend. He is this person who is my keeper and my jailer. I am a prisoner in my own home. I can't even go outside and walk the dog because he thinks someone's gonna pull up and try to meet with me. I've never done any of these things that Steven has accused me of. I pride myself in being a modest, loyal person. I'm not flirtatious. Steven is very controlling, extremely narcissistic, jealous. He has called me a prostitute, whore, bitch, liar. It's horrible knowing that the state police, your friends, my mother, all think that you think I'm a prostitute. Things between us got so bad last year, I moved out of the master bedrooms to escape Steven's negativity and accusations. I moved into a small bedroom in the basement. I don't think you can sleep with the things that you've done to me. One time, I was on the phone with a customer and Steven was listening to me talk. He was trying to rush into my bedroom so that he could interrupt this nefarious conversation. He's like, well, who are you talking to? I'm like, I, I was working. He's like, no, you weren't. I'm never sure where the camera is. He's put it on the roof in the living room window next to the air conditioner. Every time Steven has showed me footage from a camera, it either is undescribable what noises are actually being heard or it sounds like him on the voice recording. You are constantly researching activity on the internet that is some other pervert that I don't know. And I'm tired of living with a scarlet letter on my chest. Well, Danielle, it's good to meet you. It's nice to meet you too, Dr. Phil. You a hooker? No, I am not. You're not? No. I asked him, it seems like as much as he is vigilantly tracking you, that it would be a little hard for you to slip out and turn tricks. Yeah, I told him, I was like, if you really think that, why don't you just like sleep in front of my door? And... You know, if you really believe this and you really want to know, why aren't you curled up in front of the door? <laughs> well? He tells me all the time he doesn't want to violate me that way, as opposed to hiding a camera within my private sanctuary, yes. <laughs> you got a walkie-talkie on you? No. So you're not down in the basement. Abel Bakel, Charity, the Roger Fox dog. Um, <laughs> No. Calling up your pimp on a walkie-talkie. No. There are more efficient ways to do that than a walkie-talkie. I'm walkie -talkie. sure there is. I suppose maybe because the phone would be trackable. Not that I track her phone, but I guess if you wanted to, That's you a could lie. possibly do you that. You track my phone. You look in my phone. You look to okay. see who I call, and you look for evidence. When I ask you if she works throughout the day and she's slipping out during the night with you there, how is that happening? You said, well, that's a really good question. Well, yes, it is, because it would be difficult to sustain that across time. She wouldn't be that hard to catch. So, well, why, why? as invasive as it was to put the camera where it was, um, I suppose it'd be very weird to sleep in front of her door. I asked I feel, you to I go buy free. me soda and dog food. You put a camera in my room when you left. That's really invasive and, and violating. And it it's, makes me feel like you're creepy. Like That's what I literally said it, into the camera. Like, you're being creepy. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.